Welcome, you to Cooper's Automotive, uh, Tim Cooper, 2007 Ford Focus SE, um, 2.3 liter engine, and uh, I'm going to change some valve covers on this car today, I'm going to walk you through that. I'm eating a muffin, I want to show you something though, Let's see if I can do this. Wow. Resemblance there, huh? Yeah. Let me uh, get balance back out here. Okay, just for fun. So, uh, yeah, the battery's kind of corroded a little bit. We're going to change this valve cover. So, I'm going to point things down there, get everything adjusted in, and go to work. Here we go. And first thing I'm gonna take this piece off the top right here. 10 millimeter there and right there. All right there. We got three of those. Place it off to the side. Just pull all the coils out. Um, eight millimeter. Valve covers leaking oil, that's why we're changing it. Look at that dripping off of there. Down spark plug tube seals. That one too. Here we go. All right, so we got our injectors unplugged. What? We got our knock sensor right there to unplug right in the center. That gets all of our wires out of the way. Some plug cam sensor right here. Oh, there we go. Got wiring tabs here and here holding these wires on. Lift them up, pull them to the side. You got a hose right back here going to the valve cover. You need to remove that. Let's see how that clip comes out of there. They're all different. Some of them you push, some of them you pull. Looks like it's kind of doing like that. Get it up over the edge. Feel it down through there. Well, there we go. Okay, so we got that hose off. Let's remove this little bracket and that one that we took off there, and another little push on clip for our studs in the back of that. Now let's start removing valve cover bolts. Take out your dipstick tube for your oil dipstick. Plug and plug your variable valve timing right there. And remove that little wire. This wire harness coming across the front over the studs right there. One in the back. All right, looks like we've got eight millimeter studs all the way around. And we do have a bolt right there. 
right in the corner, one that's not a stud, it's just a regular eight. A little more room in there between that AC line. A few right here in the center. Two. Here we go. I believe that about wraps it up. So, See if she's gonna come up out of here. Or what else we might have to remove. There we go, keeping it like that. These do stay in there and don't come out. So, unless you screw them out, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go wash this up, clean it, flip it over, and there's the gasket to go around it. They look like they're in good shape. So, kind of interesting that they had oil down in the tubes, but they did here. That one's full and that one's full. So it was crossing over right here. We'll make sure all the surface is clean. Pick all these out. Get these gaskets out right here. the main valve cover gasket itself. And we got, like I was sharing with you, we got oil down here, all these. Spark plugs are out. So, what I do, there's a couple ways to do this, but I'd suggest pulling the spark plugs out. Let the oil go down into the cylinder. You crank it, just gonna burn it right back out the tailpipe. Clean that up. Okay, let me remove those spark plugs. Okay, this should be 5.8 spark plugs. They are. No crud other than oil down there. So oil's not going to cause us a problem. We just want to get these out. We'll clean these plugs up. Get all this oil out of this area. And then put them all back in. Just beautiful, isn't it? Here we are. 
that gets our spark plugs out. Now, let's clean that up with some carb cleaner. There we are. Clean our plugs off with clean all of our spark plugs off. Two more being towed in, guy. Well, I told him, I said, don't worry about the mule, son, just load the wagon. Well, two old mules, we'll get it done. Okay, I'm gonna anti-seize all these spark plugs and put them in right now. Start them with a little, this is just a spark plug uh, coil boot. Get them all started. One down here on the end. And we'll pull all these spark plugs down. And we'll torque them in. All right, moving right along here. Let me go grab my torque wrench. The torque will be 18 foot pounds. Okay, spark plugs are torqued in. Let me put my torque wrench back. All right, torque wrench back. I'm just gonna go wash this valve cover off. We shall return.
All right, now that you're bored, here's our valve cover. I'm just gonna blow this off. ceiling surface there around this valve cover. Make sure you wipe it down, clean it. Right up in the front there's a couple sections that are going to be RVT in a little crack where the timing cover meets the uh, cylinder head. get a little scraper and go over that. Little carbide scraper. There's really not much on here of anything. I don't want to take any chances. Be very light. These things are very sharp. And so is that thing. Just cut me. The aluminum head is very sharp. Yeah, be careful of those edges, they will, that, that cylinder head will cut you in a second. Right up in the front, we got that RVT section. Scrape it out toward the outside of the block. Clean that old stuff off. And right on this side too, same thing. Scrape it to the outside. I don't edit anything, so the boring parts and stuff like that, just move your video on forward and go ahead. It's for a long video, but it saves me time. Got to rest at some point, you can't walk, work around the clock. All right, throw this out, good. Silicone right there, and right there, dab it on in there. Now we've got a new gasket here of Felpro. This is a VS50639 A-R.
shooting video, he'll need to take care of you up front. Okay, yeah, I just want to let you know the CGR valve is coming in from Tampa in the morning. Oh, is that okay? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, all right. Oh. You have beat me, you see? Come back here. <laughs> no more abuse? All right. You got to be up your Napa parts guy every so often around here. Keeps them, keeps them humble. Okay, new gaskets. Nice, pretty blue ones, just like the ones we took off. But a lot thicker sticking up through there, as you can see, with a lot more height. There's your leak problem. This gasket just settled. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm bleeding pretty good. Don't put any RVT or anything on rubber gasket. No 3M yellow gorilla snot like we used in the old days. It's quiet around here. We don't have to run the fans. Nice cool day. Street noise though. Hot rods out there. All right, that's all there is to putting all the gaskets on, cleaning everything, putting her back together. Drop that valve cover right back on there the way we took it off. The wire's out of the way. Wires, brackets, you know, all that happy stuff. Yeah, there you go. Get all these started. Make sure you don't got anything underneath the valve cover. <clears throat> Get them all lined up and started by hand. You could run a little socket on with your hand and fill it too. Now, I'm just going to run these down, not tight, with my little Bosch. And then I got to pause and go look up torque specs. Just by feel. We'll come back to it. That one looked too hard. I'm going to torque those in after work because that's going to pause me to have to go look up the specs and I don't want to delay our video. So plug that back in. These two will go on top of that. Um, this right here, remember that tube to the back, clip it in. Well, how about that? Our right, gas brackets slipped up underneath me. Bet you guys saw that. But I didn't. There's making sure wires weren't there. Nothing broke, though. Thank God. Hey Byron.
Hey, Byron. Oh, let me, uh, yeah. Can you get me torque cuts on this valve cover, please? Yes. All right, guys, we're, we're all jumping through hoops today. All right, get them started again. I had that stupid thing underneath it. My bad. Uh, today seems to be a story in my life sometimes. Some days everything goes right along. Some days you gotta do it twice. All right, start these again. Okay, he's hooking up the torque specs, getting back at it. Plugged in, this piece is on, okay? Um, you can go ahead at this point. This right here. Use your knock sensor plug. Don't want to click in too good. in there. There we go. Plug in our variable valve timing solenoid right there. Let's get all of our coils. Make sure all your grease is off your coils. I mean, motor oil, excuse me. Clean them up. <coughs> I get tongue tied sometimes. I say the wrong thing. Okay, get your eight millimeters and tighten all those up. Oops. Don't worry about torque on those, just tighten them up. Don't crank on them, just tight. There you are. Plug all your injectors back in. Like so. All your plugs are on and they are got that piece that goes over the top got this piece right here to put back on but I've got to torque all of these bolts down so really that's all that's left is to torque everything down put this bracket right back there say all these little pieces will push back on top of these studs right here and this will go back across the top as so so that's it I'm not gonna show you the rest that's a done job right there and turn my camera around and here we are once again thank you YouTube everybody for watching I hope you got something out of it I enjoy it and I enjoy what I do and tune in many more videos to come thank you